So since the Senate didn't pass gun control, our administration has currently been pouting about it a lot, and they kept saying that the evil NRA is what kept it from happening, that 90% of Americans were for stronger background checks and all that jazz. Well, um, what our president and other people fail to understand is something that just came out in a recent poll. The uh, Washington Post polled and found out that 47% of Americans were disappointed that no gun control legislation was passed, while 53% were not angry or disappointed in that fact. So this is something that I know most people in America don't care. If people in America really cared about this stuff, there'd be a lot more people and a lot more talk about it. There's only talk and only public outcry when there's been some type of big media buzz and a massacre that occurs. The average American really does not care. Now, you have a majority of, a small majority, like 10%, that are really against guns. And then you got another section, 10%, that's really, really for guns. And the rest of the people, that 80% in the middle, is just kind of in the middle. And they may care, they may not care. They go this way, they go that way. And uh, a third of Americans actually have some type of firearm in their household, so that used to be 50% back about 40 years ago. So what we got here is we got really a bunch of Americans that really don't care about gun control one way or the other. It doesn't really affect their daily lives. They don't like to even think about it. But if you called them up and said, hey, do you think we should have stronger background checks? 90% of them say, yeah. The 10% that say no know that you're not asking about background checks. You're asking about gun control. They're not being fooled by your question. That's where the 10% came about that said, no, they don't care about stronger background checks. They knew what the question was about and who it was from. So, let me put it this way. If I called up a whole bunch of people and said, do you think dogs should go and crap on your lawn? Should anyone with a dog should let it just crap on your lawn, not have to clean it up, they can crap on your lawn all day. Like 100% or 99% of the people would say, no, I'm against other people's dogs crapping on my lawn. And I said, great, I'm going to announce legislation that if a dog craps on your lawn, to have a cop drive by and shoot the dog in the head. Then you'd be like, oh my God, no, don't do that. Don't do that. That's bad. Don't do that. And this is what happened with the president. He pushed for an assault weapons ban, a magazine ban, uh, registration of weapons, and a background check for every firearm sold. So he took this giant package of gun control, a giant package of crap, and tried to force it down America's throat. Even Harry Reid went and said, Mr. President, I don't even want to bring the assault weapon or magazine ban to the floor. I just want to bring the background check. And he said, no, 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 you got to bring those other two things. The people of that new town deserve a vote on this. They deserve to see what happens. Well, Mr. Reid was the smart politician here and not the president. He knew that if he only brought the background check, it had a shot. He knew that if he brought the other stuff, it was going to get destroyed. And that's exactly what happened. So again, he uh, the, they're planning to bring this stuff out again as soon as there's another decent enough massacre to have public outcry. They want to bring it up so fast that they can try to strong arm the other side into giving in. But again, we understand that this is not about background checks. It is about gun control. It is about infringing on our Second Amendment rights, and that is why we stand against it. Now, there have been lots of times in American history where a small part of the population has fought the larger percent of the population and have successfully won. And the reason is, is because they cared so passionately about it. So I'm going to give you a few examples. Women's suffrage. That's where women got the right to vote. They couldn't vote. How do you think they won the right to vote? They had to go out and convince enough men to put that into a constitutional amendment and have 80% of the states agree to that. So they campaigned for their right to vote and won over time. It was a long, hard fight, but they had to be committed to it. Okay? 
Let's look at civil rights. A small part of the population wanted civil rights and didn't want to be, you know, discriminated against. And they fought. They got sprayed with water hoses. They got attacked by police dogs. They had protests. They used their money. They used their, their physical beings. They had bus tours. They fought to get civil rights passed. And they got it passed, this small part of America. Well, right now the president's complaining that, oh, well, they didn't get gun control passed and 90% of Americans wanted it. Well, guess what? 10% of Americans who are pro-firearm, and there's really a lot more of us than just 10%, but 10% of us stood up and said, no, you're not going to do this to us. We refuse to take that. We sent our money. We sent our representatives. We had emails. We had phone calls. We had all this stuff. We said to the politicians, if you pass this stuff just because of this 90% stuff, we're going to hold you accountable. In the next election, we're going to do our best to kick you out of office and fire you and send you home. And that scared the politicians. So it wasn't the NRA. It was a group of Americans banding together saying, we are going to not put up with this. You are not going to infringe on our Second Amendment rights. And that is exactly the way that America should be. We are not a country where when 51% of the people say, we want to take all your stuff away, it's going to happen. You have to, if you're willing to stand up and fight for your rights, you can win and you can defeat the majority with your passion and with your focus. So God bless America and thank you all for listening. Meep, meep.